Good morning, crafty people, and welcome to Hunky Dory Crafties. Uh, my name is Daniel. I will be your host for the hour. Today I, I have with me a wonderful lady named Emily, but you can't see her. Uh, we keep her behind the cameras. Uh, her name is Emily, and she will say hello right now. Hi. Hi. Hi, Emily. And of course, we have a lady at the demonstration station who is going to be uh, showing us her wonderful wares today. Her name is Natalie Muspratt. Good morning, Natalie. Hello, everyone. You How can are tell you? You've not had uh, some practice in a week. I've you been. I know. I know. Not quite bit. with it. Uh, I've been at home for a week. I was self-isolating. My little boy, um, he contracted COVID. Um, the little nine-year-old Max. So uh, I've Schools. stayed at home and self-isolated with him. He is completely fine. Um, he only had a snotty nose, so we were quite lucky that um, that, that we we've got these lateral flow tests at, at home. So we tested him with a lateral flow test just in case, and yeah. it came back positive. So we had 10 days isolating at home um, until Ten yesterday. 10 days of sitting in your pajamas and doing nothing. And would you believe that is exactly what happened? 100% We watched true. movies, we did good things, and no one else in the house got it. So we were testing with the lateral flow test all the way through. We were very, very lucky. Um, and then on my, my day out of lockdown, which was first day out yesterday, I went to the, to the um, clinic and got my jab. How lucky is that? Isn't that incredible? Um, tell us, guys, tell us at home, have you been vaccinated? Um, are you there yet or are you waiting for your vaccination? It's very, very exciting. Walking out, you feel kind of, it, it feels amazing, like something has changed. I genuinely was really scared. Were you? Yeah, because it was like, it was like the things you see in movies. It was like... Um, like a real military operation. Yes, yes. You weren't allowed on your phone. You yes. had to stand in a queue. You had to answer loads of questions. And I felt really overwhelmed. overwhelmed. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then when you get sat down and then she's asking you loads of questions, like, and I, I was like, um, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I just didn't know. I was really, I felt really overwhelmed. Oh, I thought it was fantastic. They are doing incredible. such an incredible job. The it's UK a, has done an incredible. amazing job. If you're watching from a different country um, and you're slightly behind us, I'm sure you'll catch up soon. But um, it, they're doing an absolutely amazing job. A little bit of a sore arm, but nothing too much. Yeah. And well worth it. If you haven't got your jab, get your jab. Um, yeah, Preston are doing an incredible job because I'm only 43 and already I got the call up. So yeah, that's, you are um, very lucky, that's amazing. Aren't you? Uh, okay, guys, um, yes, this is a craft show and not a vaccination special. Um, so what do we need to do? We've got some reminders. Uh, Super Savers deals end this Thursday at midnight. Uh, we launched our Super Savers on Friday. It was Natalie, was it? It was me and Kat. And Kat. And she did such a good job. So you guys met Kat she on did, Friday. It was, amazing. It was Isn't she brilliant? She was absolutely amazing. Kat's the way she described lovely. stuff and how she went through all of what she was doing, her different stages, it was amazing. She absolutely. was really, really good. I was really, really pleased for Kat. Um, yeah, so that's brilliant. Uh, Super Savers deals end this Thursday at midnight. We're going to show you a few of them. And there are some that are back in stock, which Ooh. is quite important. Uh, so here we go. Let's take a look. Glistening Gold Miri Card Mega Buy. So 30 quid, no, 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 £17.50. You can get this in gold or you can get this in silver. It's a good one. And if you'd like, you can get silver and gold together. Oh, And I can. can't remember the price, but it's back in stock. Is it £29.99? £29.99, which I thought was incredible. Because that's what brilliant. you pay for one. Ab one absolutely. Set. So this is back in stock. It was out of stock, the gold and silver. We looked before we came in and they have assembled some more and it is now back in stock. If you want the gold and silver megabyte, £29.99. Uh, you get 200 sheets there, which is absolutely crazy. Incredible. Okay. Uh, hunky Dory at home. All the Hunky Dory at home goodies are 30% off. So you can get the USBs with Indeed. They might come with the, um, the key ring or uh, there's other, other awesome Loads of bits free gifts. Yeah. Uh, $13.99, we've got Inkly Professional Stamp Card, 100 sheets for $12.99. That's a super deal. It's 100 mega, sheets. isn't it? Because it's A4, uh, it's the stamping card, it's uh, 300 GSM, you can just um, uh, score that in the middle and you've got, you've got 100 A5 card blanks, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, we've got the Low Tech Tape Mega Buy, $9.95, it's not, it's a fiver. Um, that's good, that's a pound a roll. And they're 10 meter rolls, those guys as well. And that's quite a quite a thick, I think it's 1.6 centimeters wide. Yeah, it's super chunky. It is chunky, isn't it? And it's purple, and we like purple. It is. Um, okay, Stitch It, 40% off all of our Stitch It 
collection. So that's whether that includes the multi buy as well, which yeah, you've already got a it's discount on mega. it. Mega. Please with that. Twenty nine dies in there for only twenty nine ninety seven. We've got our Prism Craft Markers and Handbook. A hundred and thirty nine pounds ninety. No, it's not. It's sixty nine pounds ninety three. All fourteen sets, each of which have six. I'll let someone else do the maths. Each of which have six pens. Is it eighty four maybe? Um, and the crafting handbook as well, which is going to enable you to get the most out of those alcohol markers. Uh, there's, your, there's your silver that we talked about earlier on. We can jump on from that. And we've got the scoreboard and the handbook. Half price. $34.98 for the two of them together. $17.49. If you haven't got your scoreboard yet, grab this. If you need a second scoreboard, grab this. Yes. It's, a, it's a cracking product. We know that. Okay, clear storage boxes. These are all back in stock. They had sold out, or lots of them had sold out, over the weekend. The delivery is in this morning, and we have added them to stock already. 25% you can save on all of those. There's 12 by 12, there's A4, there's A5, there's loads of different sizes, including a really cute little one that you can put They're ribbon in super, or buttons super tiny. Or... They're really good, though. Really, really good. Um, we use those at home. We went into our, our um, uh, gardening. So we're using those at home for seed trays and things like that as well, ah, you know. And um, what yeah, you a can use it as sort of a propagator to keep things warm. Anyway. Good thinking. We sowed the tomato seeds yesterday, that was fun. Um, Premier Craft Tools, Crafty Toolbox, eleven ninety nine instead of fourteen ninety nine. Very good, very good. And our Diamond Sparkles gemstone was twenty two forty one, now eleven ninety nine. So guys. Um, there may be some more, but we should leave them. You can get them on our website, uh, hungularycrafts.co.uk. Jump on there. You'll see a banner for Super Savers, and all our Super Saver deals will finish on Thursday, this coming Thursday. Um, win It Weekly time. Love Mondays. Uh, win It Weekly. Roll Win It Weekly. Uh, let's roll the Win It Weekly. <laughs> Can't you tell I've not been on for a little while? I'm a bit giddy, aren't I? I know. It's hilarious. Uh, um, I get quite jealous, you know, when, when I'm watching other people doing the shows. I know that you sounds do. bad, but I, I really enjoy it. It's lots of fun, isn't it? Um, okay, Win It Weekly. Every week we bring you a brand new Win It Weekly. And this week you can win one of these. This is great. There aren't that many of these left in stock. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. It's good, what isn't it? mega prize. I know there aren't that many of these left in stock, and I know that it will go out of stock, and that is because, uh, again, um, I've done, I'm doing some really bad jobs with ordering Terrible. Um, Terrible. You should sack yourself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. Um, who's going to pay you? Uh, um, anyway. Okay, so, yeah, I'm doing quite... Because things are selling so very quickly that actually keeping things in stock is really quite difficult. Now, this is a mega storage caddy. There are 16, so it's, it's beautiful because you can, you can carry it around with you, but um, it's its own large caddy that has inside it... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen individual caddies, all of which are clip-lock and open. Um, you can fit. You can put in these your those markers that we showed you five markers, minutes ago. They fit perfectly. Six of those. Ribbon, anything. Anything you like Pens. that is that size or smaller. Otherwise, you, you might have to squeeze it in. Your sequins. Loads of stuff can go in there. You take um, your foam pads. That's brilliant. So sturdy, transparent plastic with ergonomic shape. They're all six by four inch super storage boxes. As we say, there's 16, but the perfect size for your ink pads as well. You yeah, fit oh, six ink, ink pads. pads in these. You fit six of those alcohol markers in these. Brush markers. Yes, on yeah. a diagonal. I think on the diagonal. Okay, so there's so much you can put in these. They're absolutely fantastic. It's going to be three winners. Um, so we're going to give three of those away on Friday on our Thankcraft It's Friday show. Would you like to be in with a chance of winning? I think you would. Um, how do you get to be in with a chance of winning? Let's how take a look. How do you do that? How do you do that? We would like you to like, share, and comment. I have to lean forward because I don't have the glasses oh. on. Uh, we would like to like, share, and comment. What what was? The first toy to be advertised on television. Was it A, Rubik's Cube? Was it B, Mr. Potato Head? Who is now just, I believe, Potato, Potato Head. Head. I don't know where I stand with that, you know. I'm it's not okay sure. to be Mr. Potato Head. You know, he, he was a bloke. He's just, I, I don't know. Just I don't a know. Potato, I don't isn't he? Um, or C, Transformers. I don't know whether that. C there is there just for me or not? I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna say. Can I say what I'm gonna say? You, you can say anything you want. 
Because of the the time that these things came out. Yes. I'm going to say Rubik's Cube. Are you? But then again, I'm not Transformer crazy. Um, I wouldn't know when that came out. Right. So I'm maybe gonna, you're I'm going to spoil things a little bit oh, no, for don't people. Spoil. Yeah, why not? Okay. So, you're gonna, you're gonna I, know, am, aren't you? I am one of the world's biggest Transformers fans. Okay, and so that's I not love a joke. Transformers. Um, in my office, I've got. It's crazy. Great big, it's crazy, right? But the, taller than me. Um, I've got, I think, six or eight cabinets uh, with lights on and all that sort of stuff with all the Transformers, all of them, bucket loads of them. And there must be a hundred or more, something like that. That's how sad I am um, about Transformers. And Transformers, 1984 maybe, something like that, um, they came out, 84 at the end. The earliest. Rubik's Cube must have been before that. It was, wasn't it? And Mr Potato Head was definitely before that. So my no, guess is Mr, Mr. Potato, Potato Head. Mr Potato Head was after that. No. Yeah, I think Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head was when Toy Story came out, surely. No. What? No, 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 no. Mr. Potato Head something no. on its own. Oh, yeah, all no. the. No. Right, okay, no, so. No, Mr. Potato Head is to do with. They'll Toy be Story. screaming at you at home, Natalie. No, Mr. No Potato way. Head, will you remember it at home? Didn't come. You know, you, you'll have got Mr. Potato Head with the potato. Mr. Uh, with yeah, the, with the, yeah. With no, Mr. The potato Head didn't Darn come with that. Likes. You got what your you own potato and stuck things into Mr. Potato Head. Oh, Everyone's that's... Mr. Potato Head was ever slightly different that's because a you had bit a different spot. That's sad, that, isn't it? It's not sad, it's brilliant. <laughs> so you got all the pieces and then you just had to raid your mum's you, cupboard for yeah, a potato. Yeah, you raid your mum's cupboard for a potato and you eat it after. It's brilliant. It, that's even worse. You're naming a potato, sticking things into it, giving it a personality, and then you're going to eat it. It's not as bad as the joke that Emily's given me for that, the yeah, newsreader later on. Bad. Anyway, I don't even know if I'm doing that one. It's that bad. I'll do it just so that you know that it's Emily's, not mine. Um, okay, what was the first I'm toy to shocked. be advertised on TV? Was it A, Rubik's Cube? Was it B, Mr. Potato Head? Or was it C, Transformers? Nat's gone with Rubik's Cube. I've gone with Mr. Potato Head. Emily, are you going with Transformers? Why not? She knows the answer. I don't know if I trust her. Uh, okay, so on Friday, please, um, you can just comment in the comments on Facebook, on YouTube. Um, you can enter on the Hunky Dory Hub. Just jump onto the Hunky Dory Hub um, on our website uh, and you'll find the question there. You'll be able to enter there as well. Um, on Friday, we will pick three people who've answered the question correctly and we will give you the, the answer to the correct question as well, we promise, uh, on Friday. Uh, was it, did you miss doing that this, this week? I think what? I was watching. Did you miss answer, giving the answer to the question? Yeah. yeah always yeah, do. Yeah. Always do. Hey, it's, at least we do these days. It was, it was three years. Three years a snail sleeps for. Three years. For. I should be a snail, shouldn't I? It sounds fantastic. I'm it? like prime snail quality. It sounds fantastic. Oh. Um, prime snail quality. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, yes, if you want to be in, in uh, with a chance to win it, please, please do. Um, right, today is a magical day. Uh, we're going to show you a brand new launch and we have a little bit of VT to get you started. Isn't that magical? Isn't that lovely? So this is our brand new Shadow Box collection. Um, let me show you what you need to be able to make our wonderful Shadow Boxes. So the first thing that you need here is the Shadow Box frame. Yes, You very may important. well have this from previous Shadow Box collections. You may. You may, you may. You do not need to buy this again. You buy this once and then you can buy the, the panels that go in it. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? So as you can see there, that you can sort of get an idea that that's going to make your frame, uh, your shadow, the frame of your shadow box. Um, so yeah, and Natalie will show you how to do this, won't you Natalie? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make it up. Which is fabulous. Um, it says features oval and rectangle shapes in various sizes for layering and you can see all the various sizes there. It's actually a really good nesting die as well, isn't it? It's an incredible nesting die, you know, if you're just making smaller cards you can use it for that. For like ATC sort of size, yeah. it's really, really cute that. So I like that. So that's £19.99, okay. Um, you need this to be able to make your shadow box um, uh, carts, right? So, 
Let's move on to, which one do I go for first? Is it either? Go either, either. You say either, I say either. Go for the tree. Go for the tree. Let me see which one I've got. I'm sorry, I'm being useless here. There's the tree. There we go. Magical tree scene. Okay, so I'm hoping that I've got a magical tree scene and I have here already made up. Look at that. So that's been made up and done with, um, uh, with Miri as well in the background, in different colours of Miri, which is really beautiful because it's quite magical, doesn't it? So there are four different panels in that, as you can see, and all your accoutrements. All your bits and pieces. All your bits and pieces are on there as well. So this is 19.99. You can also get the, when I can turn it round, the fairy bridge scene. There we go. I'm sorry that these are still in their, in their packaging. Uh, we just don't want to waste them, obviously. Um, so you've got a fairy bridge scene with a lovely bridge there for the fairy to cross. Who lives under the bridge? Probably me. The gremlins. The, grem the troll. Trolls live under a bridge. Trolls do live under a bridge. Trolls live under bridges. Uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, okay, so this fairy bridge scene here at 1999. But there is a multi-buy, isn't there? There is. There's Should you want both of these, you can get both of these for thirty-four ninety-eight and save yourself a fiver. Yes, you can. Just before we move on, I'm going to tell you something and show you something because we still have oh three gosh. in stock. Only three? Only only three different, not three as a number. We have oh, three different, okay. different I thought designs you meant only in stock three. of previous, right? So you would have to go and find these on the website if you wanted. I will give you the codes. If you want oh, the I Christmas... Love these ones. Christmas is amazing. It's lovely, isn't it? So if you want that gorgeous Christmas, um, Father Christmas sleigh um, and this lovely scene, it's called Winter Scene, funnily enough. Um, and it's got gorgeous winter scenes of, um, of houses and um, uh, lovely fir trees and the snow and so on behind. But also Father Christmas, as you can see, there's your actual size there, um, with Let It Snow as a, uh, as a, as a lovely um, uh, uh, sentiment. This lovely background as well of snow, which is really, really pretty. That's available at 19 .99. I'll just give you the code if I can find it. It's mstone138 is available. We have two others that are still available. Uh, they're in small numbers, these guys. So when I say small, I think, uh, you know, I looked at stock before we came in, I think it was 30s and 40s. It's yeah, not big not numbers. not that many, okay. is there? But they are really pretty. Um, garden scene. So this is really pretty. It's got, the, um, it's got the little bird house there as well. You've got a cat. You've got some birds as well. Uh, lovely branches going across and a lovely trellis in the background here, which is really, really pretty. Super pretty. Again, 19.99 and available on that lovely multi-buy of any two for 34.98. Mm -hmm. uh, the code for that one, Garden Scene, is mstone168. The code for this one is mstone169. This um, one's super cute. It's this really is lovely. springy, this. You've got like the hills and the, the little bicycle. Um, you've got it, the colouring ability on this is something that I really love because you can get really creative. It's lovely, isn't it? And you can you can do it just really simple and do it out of cardstock, or you can you can use your inks, you can use your pens. So there's loads of ability to to get super creative with this, and you don't need to make them up as they should be made up as well. You can get you can do it even more. That's things. really important. So there are four different frames in this. There's the the brick wall there. There's the bike. Uh, there's sort of this background of, um, a, of a, a meadow, you could say, with, um, with some trees in it. And there's also this lovely floral sort of border corner around here and this, and this pretty hanging basket. And you can use which ones you want. You can add in the dog. You don't need to add in the dog. It's completely up to you. You've got the kite there if you want it. Sunny days. We are looking forward to sunny days. And there's going to be sunny days tomorrow. This isn't the weather. This is a craft program. But tomorrow, I do believe, 19 degrees in the north. 24 degrees in the south. Good that, isn't it? I'll take that. Um, okay, let me show you a couple. We might have to zoom in a little. Let me just show you a couple of cards that have been made with this lovely Shadowbox Fairies collection because that's really what we're about today, even though we've shown you the older ones. Um, easy to put a cover onto this to create. Look at that. It's really nice, isn't it? Look at the depth. There's so much dimension in here. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. And this one's had a, done some colouring as well, which I really like. But then this one, which is exactly the same, but using, um, I think she's used her pearlescent powders here. Um, it makes it completely different. Look at that. With I love the mirror there and the Make-A-Wish. Oh, and the bridge has been done in, in Rainbow Mirror. How beautiful. Look at that. They're really detailed. They're really delicate. Um, if you want to do something slightly different, you absolutely can. 
So it doesn't. You don't have to keep it the same. You can nope. absolutely get as um, as innovative as you want. Lots of colouring on this one here. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Of course, really they fold flat as well, which is really nice. Yeah, you can get them in an envelope. You can put them on top of um, cards as well if you want to. So you can just use foam pads on these, put them on a 3x4 card. Um, or you can get really creative and extend the dies as well, which is something you wouldn't necessarily think about. Look at that. So a lovely little tea lantern here with some... Um, some parchment here, but you put something, a little tea lantern in there, a little electric one, I would suggest. Yes, yeah. So that we don't set fire to the house. Um, but you do that, and it's going to sparkle through there and look absolutely beautiful. Um, shall we nip across to my friend Natalie and see what she's going to do? Let's do it. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to just make one of these up um, as the packaging suggests. So you do need to have your um, shadow box frame die. And then for this, I would suggest cutting out our outer frame which is this one and then you want to cut out um, five of these smaller frames that look like this so this is your bigger one and then this is your smaller one and then for one of them um, which is going to be the inside of your card you want to just take the either the square or the largest circle it's completely up to you how your front looks um, but I'm going to use this square and then we're just going to tape this down and I'm using some of that tape that we've got on that super savers offer as well. And then you want to, um, you've got four panels here, you want to take all of these panels off and then you're going to fit them into the lines, the score lines there. Um, and it's quite easy to do with these because you know where they need to go uh, because of the tops of the thing. So you just want to line that top square up with the side and the edges and then i'm going to get some more purple tape we're going to push this through i've got quite a bit on there actually let's just put another bit up here and then we're going to run this through our die cutting machine now you want to, i'm just doing two panels here because i've got some already prepared but you want to do this with every single one of your different designs to make it up so if you can hear lots of banging in the background, guys, let me do apologise. Um, we are, where we are, so our studio is in the middle, it's a box, if you will, in the middle of, a, of an office complex which is in the middle of our factory. Um, so, obviously, through the walls and the, and the, the ceilings and so on, you get the, the sounds of the production machines, um, you get the sounds of the, the guy, I think that's the guys knocking up the, um, the stock when they're going to guillotine it and stuff. So occasionally we get a little bit of bangs and stuff. Um, don't worry, nothing's going wrong. It's just the usual um, hubbub of a factory, that's all. So now I've got my pieces all lovely cut out. I think I just need to run that through again because I moved. Actually, I can do this. What I did was I put these on the edge of my die in machine so it's just I just need to use my knife just to cut away this corner and you can see that it has scored it but it's just because I've not run it through the die cut machine properly I just need to take my knife just to pull that away so we've got our this is what will be our front panel now we've got all of our panels set up and I'm going to bring those in because I have started coloring a few of those so we've got those panels ready to go. Um, so now what we need to do is just finish off decorating and then we can put them together. So for your front panel, you also still have these score lines and you just want to trim them off. So line that up with your trimming. You can do this before or after um, you've cut your aperture from this. But I'm gonna do it just after and I know that the panels are three by four. So if I just line that up, to my three inch mark, then we've got the front panel for our piece. So these layer up and there is instructions on each layers on the inside. So you have your base piece, panel one is your aperture, which we've just cut. Then you've got your um, background panel, the house piece, the tree, and then the front panel, which is this foliage that we've got here. So I'm just gonna color this in and I'm using my alcohol markers for this because I believe that the alcohol markers give you the best effect here. So for my background piece, I'm gonna do like a night sky. Um, so I just need to have a look here at matching up some of my blues. So I've got my really light blue, then I'm gonna go with this one. And then the best thing for you to do here 
is to actually use your make your own um, sort of I think that's a bit darker make your own like grid here test them all out make sure that you know that these are all gonna sort of blend together nicely um, that's a bit too dark now I've had a great question okay uh, on Facebook one of our friends has said to us Dan, what are you on about? Saying that this um, that you're going to tell people the answer to the question on Friday when there isn't a <gasps> show on there Friday. There isn't a show on Friday. We're going to have to do it on Wednesday then, aren't we? Are we doing it Wednesday, Emily? Yeah. Yes. Oh, we'll so do it Wednesday. The answer, so you've only got today and Wednesday to get your answers in for the Win It Weekly question. Let me just remind you of that question while Nat is choosing her colours. Uh, what was the first toy to be advertised on TV? Was it A, a Rubik's Cube? Can any one of you roll their R's? I'd love to be able to roll my R's. But I, I pretend and do like a girl, right? <laughs> Rubik's. It's terrible. No. But some people can really do it and it sounds amazing, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, what was the first toy to be uh, advertised on TV? Was it Rubik's Cube? Was it um, Mr. Potato Head? Or was it Transformers? A, B, or C? I do don't let have us a know. Clue. Uh, quite a few people going with my answer, Mr. Potato Head. Uh, there's, I've seen a Rubik's Cube or two. Not seen that much for Transformers yet, but then I did poo-poo that idea at the start, didn't I? You did, you did. You sort of put people off that one. If I'm wrong, I'm going to get a lot of trouble, aren't I? Think of the trouble I'll be in. So I'm just swapping my pens, because my pens that are from my desk are well used, but the ones here that we have in the office have got lots of juice in them. So when you're creating backgrounds like this with your alcohol markers, the best thing to do is sort of put one layer of colour down, which I'm doing now, and you can see I'm doing that in sort of like three um, strips here, and I'm using my chisel tip because that's going to give me the best um, sort of colour down on it. So I just want to make sure that the colour is as sort of smooth as possible at first and then what we're going to do is then use our go back over these with our lighter colour to just blend them out and it will take some time but then the finish in the end is really quite pretty um, yeah, now I don't know the, what colour I need to do is this one you can see the colour sort of change as it, as it goes down so it creates a really nice sort of ombre background with your inks and you can add in more colour if you wish just to um, bring that colour down. And let's just go. When we went and did again. our, we did some um, pottery, is pottery the right word? We did some painting of ceramics, that's the right word. Um, Deb's made a, or painted a, uh, she's using it for putting her cotton wool in and things like that in the bathroom. Uh, but I'll, I'll bring it in. I said I'll bring it in. I'll bring it. I did a, um, a gnome and uh, Ellery did a, uh, Max did a dinosaur, uh, but it was really, really good. I'll, I'll make sure to bring them in. Looks really pretty. I love doing stuff like that. the same colour as those. So that is my background now. So then I've got my little dandelions, which I've done in like a white colour, and my tree. So I just need to do these little houses now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, 324, which is a dark green colour. And that's just going to go along sort of these lines that you can see here, which are sort of like grass verges. Um, so I'm going to do that along those sections. So this also, you, if you choose to, you don't have to put colour uh, onto these if you don't have your alcohol markers, although you can use watercolour pencils. Yeah, you, you can use... use your inks here as well. Absolutely. But, but this also looks, oh, it looks really amazing classy in white. In white. Amazing. Or in, in other colours, I mean, there's, you know, you can use um, black on this for, for shadow boxes, it's quite special, isn't it? It looks so good. So then, going in with my lightest green, which is the green I use when I'm doing any type of, like, grass colouring, it's um, 414, um, but blending that into that darker green, which really doesn't take a lot of work, and I think that is what is really nice about these alcohol markers. Some people think, oh, alcohol markers, I don't think I want to try that. It's a little bit scary, a little bit um, too artsy maybe some people might think, but actually it's really, really nice and it gives you a beautiful um, tone to your colouring, which I don't think you can get with other um, 
pens if I that you don't get this clean sort of block colouring um, if you use your water pen. So now if I just drag this colour down, that's going to smooth out all the way. Um, and then our houses, I think I'm going to do them quite bright actually. Mm. Um, quite fun, quite Fairies bright. Fairies would live in bright houses, They would live in super they? bright houses. So let's get a red and we'll do some red houses. So I'm going to do them all this really bright red colour. So these are Moonstone dies. Uh, Moonstone is the Hunky Dory Crafts brand of cutting dies. Um, they are exclusive to Hunky Dory Crafts, although you can buy Hunky Dory Crafts products uh, at other places around the world, including all good uh, websites, uh, stores, uh, places like Creating Craft TV, uh, places like Crafters Companion, uh, and other good stores, um, right. local shops as well. And uh, the local shops are going to be opening again soon. And it's so wonderful for people to be able to get back into their local craft shops, I think, and, and see the uh, the owners and I think um, so. yeah, support really your good, local craft it? shops. They're absolutely essential, aren't they? Um, uh, we absolutely do here at Onky Dory. This show did amazing on TV at the weekend. Um, Pauline did a fantastic job. Did she? Yeah, it did really, really well. So it was very, very popular on TV. So I doubt that there'll be much left on creating craft um, because a lot of the bundles went. There's a lot of stuff going, coming on on creating craft soon, isn't there? We've, there got, is. um, we've, got, we've got a couple of absolute crackers. Up. It's crazy. So now I've just gone in with my um, CJ3, which is this dark grey, and then I'm going over the whole top of my uh, little houses in CG1 which is a cool grey one and that's our lightest grey colour and that gives us those little um, houses like that so now we can build this up because we've got all of our panels coloured in so I'm going to start off with my base panel and I'm going to take my last piece now I've scored all the edges here and I've used my thickest red red high red high tack tape there we go that red high tech tape bundle is actually out of stock now oh um, my on gosh, Super is Savers. It? Yeah, yeah, all the stock. I did think it would go went, really fast because no. there was some really good deals on there. So then lining it up with that back panel, you want to pop it um, with the back piece facing forwards in line with those sections. So it can be quite fiddly to actually do this and show you, but. Don't worry, we will get there. So that's panel one. And then panel two is our houses. So I'm just gonna add red tape to both sides. And then we're gonna peel that off and stick it in. So you can see it doesn't take long to color them in if you want to color them. However, like Dan said, just using um, different gradients of one color I think there's a card that you've got there, Dan, that shows that, which looks really beautiful. Um, Is it this just one, doing them out of white. No? no, it's a card. It's on the bottom of the card pile, the purple one. Oh, this, yes, yes, yes. It looks really can pretty. Can I just show this if we can go to, to zoom in? So this is as Nat's saying, just this is a card. So you don't have to do these as shadow boxes, but it shows how versatile they are. Uh, but just utilising different shades. And isn't it really isn't that pretty? Beautiful? And, and it doesn't really, take really a lot of work to do that at all. Um, and you can create some really pretty pictures. So each time um, I'm bending my sort of little not sticky tabs here backwards, and that's what creates your dimension. So every time you layer it up, you just stick in another one on top of another one, um, and then just pressing it down onto that panel side each time like so and then our last one is this top piece which has our grass and those really nice dandelion um, flowers on there so we've got pop these back and then this will fit this will be our last piece so this will fit sort of directly behind our front panel so you can stick that in place and then these bits fold over that section like so. So we'll just take our red tape off these, this front tab now and our panel that we got our aperture from and we took remove those two tabs from, that is going to sit on top and then we are done. 
So it is really quite easy um, to do. It is a little bit fiddly. It does, you need to take your time while you're doing it. Don't rush it because otherwise your pieces will all be a bit wonky and it won't look as straight. So is that going to go on there? And then our last piece is just going to fit on here. Natalie, we are being made to blush here. Heather Porter says, really love Hunky Dory. They are the best. She's making us blush. Such lovely comments, isn't it? Kim Dixon says, totally agree. Thank you so much. You're ever so kind. So we've got our four panels there. And then there's a the little um, fairies and stuff that you can decorate it with. But I'm just going to leave it as this sort of like, win like wonderland scene. And what I love as well is that if you removed some of these panels, so if you took away this front panel here, um, you would leave your tree without branches which I think is really nice because you could do different seasons then. You could do um, a spring one, you could do a autumn one without the leaves on there. So there's loads of different things you can do with it. But it's super, super simple to make up. And I've just done this from white, um, coloured it in with my alcohol markers so you can see um, by just adding a little bit of colour how special you can make these. But it's Monday, and on a Monday, we always do our Hunky Dory headlines. So let's head over to Newsy Mc Newsreader for this week's update. Good morning, my name is Newsy Mc Newsreader, and welcome to the Hunky Dory headlines. On Hunky Dory TV this week, there will only be one more show for you. Then it says here, What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Which makes perfectly good sense as this Wednesday at 10am will be the launch of our new Decolage collection, Meadow Farm, none of which will be ground into beef. Stock updates, back in stock, A4 masking sheets, duo design paper pad, vintage maps and aged paper is now back in oh. stock. The Supersize Essential card block and the Supersize Miri card blocks in both gold and rainbow. And for the love of stamps, Gin Credible stamp set. In other news, a man writing a book about hurricanes and tornadoes. He thinks the book will fly when it comes out, but it's only a draft at the moment. Oh my gosh. That's better, that's better. Now it's time for our thought of the week. Why is there so much month left at the end of the money? <laughs> yes, I like that, very good. And that concludes the Hunky Dory headlines for this week. Ground beef. I'm going to look down my glasses at you, Emily, for that one. Very good, very good. Uh, okay, guys, let's take a look at some more of these cards that have been made with this gorgeous collection. We showed you this one just earlier on. So, as Natalie says, that's using different sort of um, shades of the same Isn't card. Isn't it so lovely? It's really, really pretty. I really like that one. It, you can see, like, the dimension, but it's not super obvious sticking to the theme of cards instead of uh, of shadow boxes yep. because you can do both obviously you can do both i love this it's and it's very really Peter Pan. easy to do it is actually i didn't think about Isn't that little tinkerbell but this is so easy to do with your shadow boxes because you have no cut outlines on your um sort of end panel pieces like that house you can die cut them next to each other um, and you can create beautiful long scenes. So you can make cards from your um, panels. You don't have to just make these shadow boxes. You don't just have to make small cards. You can get super creative. Isn't that clever? I really, I like the ripped um, yeah, adorable like scorable it. on there it's as cool. well. That's, uh, that's Matastic adorable scorable on there, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and it looks so good. It does, that was Sheila made that one. Thank you very much, Sheila. I miss Sheila already. Oh, I know. I do miss Sheila. Uh, I did speak to her last week though, thankfully. I didn't get to see it because obviously I was self-isolating, no, so it was such a shame. But I spoke to her on the phone for a good long while. Um, believe in the magic. There we go with the gorgeous uh, Miri there. 
for the dies. That's lovely, isn't it? And well, I love that background. Yeah, those background panels, again, they're just cut-in dies, so you can tie all that across whatever you like. So April made that for us. Thank you very much, April. And she also made this one. So April decided to do the same thing, where she had this... Uh, a isn't yeah, it? created a long one across the bottom, a long sort of seam, which is really very nice. Very pretty. Uh, very, very pretty. Um, and another one that's sort of a card and a shadow box combined. There we go. And that's utilising some of our glitter card there, or shimmer card there. Um, because fairies do shimmer, as they we do. know. They do. So, guys, you can save £5 with this bundle. It's got both of the fairy tale shadow box dies in. And if you want the original shadow box die, it is available. This is what helps you to create... Uh, the actual boxes themselves um, and indeed gives you all of those individual nesting dies for going in or out, completely up to you, um, and uh, helps you to finish this beautiful box frame. Absolutely love that's just £19.99. Uh, okay, I'm going to re uh, remind you of our Win It Weekly. Uh, let's take another look at the question. What was the first toy to be advertised on TV? Was it A, Rubik's Cube? Was it B, Mr. Potato Head? Or was it C, Transformers? And three people are going to win. It's right over here. I'm I've still not it. over the fact that um, Mr. Potato Head was something before Toy Story. They, they all, well, most of them were, you know. So Buzz Lightyear was, I think, created for Toy Story. Okay. Um, obviously, there were cowboys before, like Wood, Woody's, yeah. Woody's Roundup and stuff. But a lot of the toys that you see there, like Etch-a-Sketch and things like that, oh, a yeah, lot yeah, of them yeah. were just old Etch school sketch, toys. Etch-a-Sketch, I thought that was an old toy. Slinky. Slinky was it? There was a, a thing that was Slinky. Uh, you know, I, I had one when I was a little kid. What, like a, just a yeah, Slinky? Like it was a dog. No, a dog that, with like a oh, thing. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I had anyway. a Slinky. But Toy Story is amazing, isn't it? Toy I don't Story. know at home if you love Toy Story. We absolutely adore it. It's brilliant. Uh, okay, so you're going to be in with a chance of winning one of three of these. We're going to give three away, guys. We're going to give them away on Wednesday this week, not on Friday, because we have no Friday show. The reason we have no Friday show, uh, I know it's very sad because we like doing it, but it's important I'm that very excited. People, are, people are tired. <laughs> it's been... It's been a lot. Did you forget? Uh, it's been um, obviously it's been a long year. It's been you know lockdown and so. So we're making sure that everybody gets uh, an Easter break this year. So we're just saying okay, we're, we're just going to close for the four days, uh, and we're going to do that. So um, which I think is brilliant for the team. I think it's great. It, it's important, uh, and we do apologise that we're not going to be around for for um, Friday and Monday. But we'll do. Are we going to do Tuesday next week? Yeah, why not? Yes, let's do that. So can we do Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday? <sighs> so we still get three shows next week. Natalie's like, what? I'm just thinking. We're making we it up. We're people. If you don't mind having me, I'll, I'll spend some time. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to do it. I'm totally up for it. Okay, so make sure that you're, you've got to be in it to win it. Uh, Rubik's Cube, Mr. Potato Head, or Transformers. Natalie, are we going to come to you for another demonstration? Yeah, I'm going to show you how you can make a little lantern with these dies. Let's do it. one of my favourite things to do with them. So I've got a piece of our um, A3 pastel here. Um, and what I've done, because I know my panels fit in with three by four, is that I have cut this, and I'm going to show you my measurements. I have cut this to 12 and a quarter by four and one quarter. And then what I've done is I lined that up on my scoreboard this way around, and I scored at three, six, nine, and 12, which gave me a little bit for my tab. And then I've turned this portrait and I've scored it again. Um, I've turned it this way actually, again, and scored it at a quarter. Now I'm going to take a craft knife and I'm just going to create um, some tabs on this section here. Now this is going to be my top piece. So I've also cut a square that is three by three um, and that is going to be the lid of our um, lantern. Now I've cut, got all my panels sorted, I can arrange my little elements. Now I'm going to do this, um, I'm going to use different ones for each side. So I'm going to do the first two, I'm going to use our midi to do this as well. Now our midi does come with a folder, so you might want to use a, a larger cutting machine, your electronic one, you'll be able to do this on your A4. Um, but I'm just going to use our MIDI and our MIDI plates have actually um, come apart which does help um, when I'm cutting this out in the way that I'm going to. So I'm just going to make sure that that is in line with the other. And then I'm going to do, let's do this one on this side. Or let's do this one and then I'll do two bridges. 
I'll put my bridge back on that panel. So first of all, we're just gonna put this through our machine and I'm just gonna do the first two panels. Let's bring our machine into view. So I'm gonna go over this twice, I think. So let's go. Ooh. There we go. So let's just cut this out once. Maggie has commented on Facebook. It's an absolutely lovely comment, actually. I only started crafting two years ago, but I love Hunky Dory with all the demos. I've learned so much, and when I've had a problem, they've sorted it out straight away. Products and customer service outstanding. You should be very proud of your company, Dan. It's a very, Aww. it's very easy to complain, but very nice to compliment also. That's um, lovely. Maggie, thank you so much for your lovely comment. I am incredibly proud of the whole team who works here at Onky Dory. They're an, um, it's an absolute stunning team of people that we've put together who are really creative, um, really crafting, really care about uh, the customers and and the work we do and the the products that we create and the innovation and just the the, the fun of creativity and bringing it to people and educating people. I think We're it's wonderful. We're a good bunch. It's a good bunch you of people. Try. But I think that Maggie has a really, so nice. really good point. Everybody makes mistakes in life. All of us do. We, we all make mistakes. And you know, it, the, the, the team here at Onkidori can't get it right all the time. I'm the first person to make a mistake. Aside from Natalie, of course, who never makes mistakes. No, I um, make mistakes all the time. It's how you deal with making mistakes that matter. It's, it's making sure that you can put things right. We're all going to get something wrong sometimes, but you know, saying sorry and getting it right, that's the important thing, isn't it? Oh. So, once I remove this now, it's moving loads. I think it's because I put it on my mat and my mat's movable. Yes, yes. I should have left it where it was. Okay, so now, once I've pulled this away, we will have our panels all cut into this piece of um, adorable scrubble and this adorable scrubble is a really good GSM so for it to cut first time because these panels are really quite detailed especially these pieces up here and I'm just popping these bits out with my the corner of my nail I'm not even using my dye brush mainly because I made a mistake and didn't bring it in the room um, but it just shows that you don't need the tool because the dyes are perfect um, as always, Stacy has done an amazing job with these. So just some little bits here that I need to just get out. I might actually just have to use my craft knife just to poke them, make sure I don't cut my finger. Some great little comments uh, coming here. Um, Zara's, <laughs> loved Zara's comment. Talking of mistakes, now I'm washing my hair dye out. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think everyone's got to that point now, especially now we can go visit friends and family. We want to make sure that we're not looking like, you know, yes, crazy Yes, we're all people. like, oh, we've got to go back out into the real world we've got now. To it's... see people now. We're going to have to look okay. Talking so, of hair dye, right? I was having a conversation with Debs yesterday because, because I've... You're not going to be dying Debs' put, hair, are you? No, this is funny, right? I've put, I've, I've put, I've grown a little bit of a beard because I was off, I've I was off this. last week. Yeah. You know, we're off, self isolated. I was at home, yeah? He, he was, he was... As some so, people would say it, you were monging out. Is that what you call it? I'd say um, that. I don't think that's probably politically correct, so we apologise if, uh, if we offend anyone just, with that. But um, it is, uh, it's just grown a little bit of a beard here. But I've noticed, have you seen, it's quite grey at the front. It's grey oh, here. Are yeah. you going to dye it? I said to Debs, I said, do you know what? I think I might dye my beard. And the laugh, she laughed and laughed and laughed. And I saw, I, I just, like, okay, all right, I'm I gonna say, <laughs> I'm going to say don't do it. And here's a story of Go why on. you shouldn't do it. Why not? Because my Dan has a beard exactly the same as yours. Okay. And his beard is lots of different shades of ginger. Okay. And he has black and he has grey growing through. So it's all a big muddle. And he decided one day that he was going to dye his beard. Oh, so he's um, done it. This so is brilliant So we have done it. And it looked fine. But because I'm so used to seeing him with this beard of loads of different colours, it at first it was like very obvious. So he decided to go all ginger with his beard um, and dye it fully ginger, which one is really hard to find dye. So we yes. ended up having to buy hair dye. Um, two, because it's hair dye, it absolutely stinks. And it was hilarious because obviously when you've never used hair dye before, um, if you get it on your skin, 
it dyes your skin. Oh, it does. So, yeah, luckily, it was. this happened at the beginning of the first lockdown. So we didn't actually have to leave the house. So it was fine because no one actually saw him when it was really bad in the beginning. Um, but, yeah, I would recommend that you don't do that because of that experience. Now, do me a favour. Just pass me that over there. Which one? The, just that this. there. Yeah, you just pass me that. No, no, don't show. Oh. Did it by any chance look like that? Yeah, it was really, it was, it was really much like that. This, these have still got sweets in. Isn't that amazing? Sneaky sweets. Sneaky sweets. So I've now added red tape behind my panels because I'm going to add some parchment in. And this is, um, I'm using here the printable parchment, which is available in the USB Home Essentials, I think. Yes. Um, so it's just our plain parchment, printable parchment. You could use vellum here, you could use our coloured one as well if you wanted to. Wendy Aldridge dyed Ooh. her hair purple during lockdown. She's a hunky-dory lady, well done. We should all do that, shouldn't we? We should do that. Should we go purple for like, all dye our hair purple for a charity or something? Carol Rooney says that her nan said, used to say that grey hair is not to show your age, but to show how wise you are. I like that. I like that. My chin's getting wise. Your chin is wise. So now we're putting our parchment panels um, in behind this. And just double checking, so what have you used to stick that? You've used the, I've used the, red, the tape. red tape. Yep. Yeah. Just because um, this is going to be a construction piece. So you want it to be quite together and well. So I've just cut it slightly smaller than three by four so it fits nicely in those panels. And now we can make this up. So I'm gonna fold along my top score lines. So that is nice and burnished across there. And then this side panel here as well. I'm it just looks so simple. There are, there are that. just five different little tabs that we'll need to, to um, so they've all, oh, and they've already got their their low tech tape, high tech tape. So yeah, on I them. did that earlier just to save some time when we were putting this together. So I'm going to stick this piece now to my end, and to make sure you get it um, perfectly right, what you can do is you can flatten that one piece down, and then bring that together, and that will make sure that your square is perfect, Makes perfect like so. Sense. Then our tabs here are for our top piece, which is going to make sure that this stays nice and square. So we can pop this off and what I'm actually going to do is I think I might just do um, one piece first and I'm going to lie this flat while I do this so I know that it lines up with my edges. So lie that flat and then you can stick the rest down. So just remove the rest of the red tape. But you can get super creative with this. You can add little fairies now on the inside, sort of hanging behind the parchment so they look like um, you only really see them when the lantern is lit up. So that can go on there. This panel is going to go across here. I'm just going to pop my finger on the inside to make sure that that is all stuck in place. And then you can add... Oops, I'm just going to... doesn't want to stay still. I'm just going to sort of squish my edges together at the bottom then just to make that square at the bottom also. And then you can add your little tea light in. It's such a shame that we can't... We can't oh, dim can the lights. See, we can can't you see dim the just? lights. Um, which is a real shame because obviously you would get... Yeah, <laughs> obviously trying. you would get some incredible... It would look, um, it look really, really cool. We'll take a picture for you and put it on... Um, in the on dark. the Facebook page. So when we set this room up, we set it up, it's got automatic lights. Um, when, and when we first did it, we thought it was amazing because you walk in, all the lights automatically come on in the room and it's really fabulous. But then you decide that you want to go dark and you can't do anything no, about it. You can't turn you them can't. off, can you? It's a real pain. Um, just wanted to mention, Jackie Woodward has put a, uh, a comment on. She says that she's raised 150 pounds for Yorkshire Air Ambulance for her 60th birthday last Friday. Aww. Two things, number one, well done. Number two, happy birthday, happy 60th. Incredible. Um, fabulous. Cheryl says that grey hair is trendy among, amongst the young as they seem to dye it grey. She's dyeing hers red to hide the grey. They do do that. They do they seem do. to do that, don't they? Uh, okay, I'm gonna remind you about our Win It Weekly um, promotion, promotion, offer. 
Um, giveaway, let's get the right word. Here we go, this is what we're giving away. So, we would like you to like this video, share this video if you will, and comment with the answer to this question. What was the first toy ever advertised on television? Was it A, Rubik's Cube? Was it B, Mr. Potato Head? Or was it C, Transformers? Three people are gonna win one of these fabulous mega storage caddy with 16 individual A6 storage boxes inside. All clip lock, keep things nice and safe. And mobile, you can carry it around with you as well. Super good for that. Uh, three winners there's gonna be, and the winners will be announced on our Thank Craft It's Wednesday show Thank this Craft Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, at 10 a.m., which is with myself and Rachel. Uh, okay, I think have we, we've no more demos today, have we? No, nope, no more today. No, we're going to say thank you very much to Natalie for your demonstrations. Uh, guys, these gorgeous shadow, Moonstone Shadow Box um, Fairy dies are available now. They're on the website, honkydorycrafts.co.uk. $34.98 for that multi-buy. And indeed, you can mix and match between dies of that size uh, to get that multi-buy at £34.98. The Shadow Box template, the main one that you need, is available, is in stock. There it is, if you can find it. Uh, is available, is in stock at £19.99. We have had times where that's gone out of stock, even when we've launched new shadow box frames we and we've run that. out of this we one, have. which is a real shame. But there we go. Um, last card I'm going to show you is this one because I kept it to the side. I thought it was very, very pretty using different colours of adorable scorable and putting acetate on the front there it's very just pretty, adds yet it? another little. Um, I love it. Element to it, doesn't it? They're Absolutely just beautiful. really, really cute, and they're quite good to do with the kids as well because they're quite um, playful, which is just something that you can um, have some real fun sort of making different scenes and putting them onto cards or making lanterns out of them or night lights. You could even make a few of these um, and hang them up in with some fairy light. Oh, that would look lovely. Uh, and make like some little lanterns. In different colours as well, yeah, different yeah. pastel colours would yeah. look lovely. There's loads to do. Okay, guys, thank you so much for spending an hour with us this morning, and we will see you at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Oh, Crate and Craft, have we got anything to tell people about? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Um, half, uh, half past one. Do your job, half Daniel. Past Read one the tomorrow. cards. I will be launching a brand new decollage collection, which everyone loves decollage, so make sure you are watching. Absolutely. Create and Craft, tomorrow, 1.30. And at quarter to seven in the evening, so 1.30 in the afternoon, yep. uh, British summertime now. The clock's changed, didn't the they? The clock has changed. Clocks have changed. Um, and 6.45, as Natalie launches the new Meadow Farm decollage. It's really, really cute, guys. There will be no ground beef. Um, <laughs> we're going to add a product to the rollover box. It's the envelope, corner, and notch punch. We'll be add adding this. Next on Hunky Dory Craft TV is Wednesday, 10 a.m. That all new decollage will be launching right here with us. Okay, guys, have a lovely day and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.